So here we are. We're about to uh, embark on an adventure, hey? Getting the drones out there today, and um, it's going to be a whole new learning experience for us, eh, hey, bro? Ah, bro? It's going to be our first time uh, having a, having a tutu with the drones. So, oh. AE Easies, bro. The AE Easies up in here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have some fun today. Watch this. You ain't liked, subscribed, and shared this by now. You, you're weird. You're weirdo. <laughs> Day. Yeah. Oh, already Here we go, he's the beast. And the remote and the drone too close together when they're um, setting up. It wants to be at least two meters away when you're um, connecting the remote to the drone. Nice. Just getting it warmed up and then we'll do our calibration. Here we go, calibration. Yep. Green light solid, green light Space down. Vertical rotation. Green light flashing. Green light solid once you get back to the starting point. You are now calibrated, but we'll no longer say calibrate compass on there. You calibrate it for home. The only yeah. time you need to do this again is if you change location on the beach or the next time you go out. Yep. You don't have to do it. If you change battery, you stay in the same place. Calibration works every time. Beautiful. So that's home right there, eh? Okay, so that's stabilizing itself there. So um, what he was just saying before he um, shot it up in the air is uh, don't don't panic and all of that sort of stuff when you're putting it up, put it straight up and it'll um, take care of itself and keep itself on the pinned GPS area. So um, there's a bit of technology in these these uh, machines and um, I'm looking at it now, Let's see if you can, uh, there you go. And it's um, holding its position automatically so I think we're just about ready, we're just doing a bit of a test run. Uh, and I think soon we'll be ready to put her out with some baits attached and uh, we've got some fresh mullet. We're on the west coast looking at Gurnard and uh, Snapper. And hey, who else? Who knows what else might come through? It's just on the uh, the dawn of, of spring, so it could be interesting today. But um, I'm excited. Here we it's go. Attaching. Give us a bit of a, a breakdown of this, bro. So you've got your uh, hook section attached to the release wire. Yep. Same place you attach a couple of sinkers. Nice. Got your uh, other end of your release wire there. Just pop that in there. There's just two little ball bearings that are held in place by a spring clip. Too easy. Tension's already preset. That's ready to go. Just make sure that everything's out of the way of the props. Yep. And uh, Chris is going to take it up for us. All right. And there's our hooks. Oh, let me just get out of the way of our hook section. And why we've kind of snaked it along the beach is so that we don't take up too much area of the beach here, so the families can swim and all of that. But uh, here we go. It's connected to the rod. And that's going to detach once we put some uh, tension on the line. Let's let's see this in uh, full effect. Here we go. There you go. Yep. Hooking them up. And off they go, eh? It's that simple. Right, let's head over to the boys. What sort of distance are we looking at for this first one? Uh, right now we're doing about 190, we just 200. I'm thinking maybe three to four, looking at the way the water's moving for us. Yep. There's a lot of white peaks out there. It looks like we might be looking at the channel. So we're going to give it another 50 meters. I'll get Morgan to put the bail arm. 
Yep, there you go. And you can, wow. I just saw that line drop, that was really cool. Now returning home, so yep. I'm going to fly ourselves back. At right. this distance, I can still see it. Yep. But I'm going to let it come back for a little bit. Once it gets closer, I'm going to manually land it just to yep. save a bit of battery power. Right. When you're doing the auto return to home, you'll hear the remote, it'll keep beeping, so you know that's what it's up to. Yep. Just keep, keep the remote pointing at it, get that tension on the line. You can see we're pretty good here now. Tip of the rod's bending. That's still got a bit of wine in the current there, so it's just going to be a little bit of a play around to make sure that the wine's tight and not, not being held too much in the current. Nice. So oh, look at there we go. Watch your rod tip, keep an eye on it. Here's our drone. See you guys are tagging it. <laughs> drone's on its way back. So that drone's coming back automatically, yeah? Yep. yep. Don't even have a hand on the drone. Look at that. Gee, that came back real quick. Okay. Alright, so now he's gone to manual mode. Alright, there we go. So now... There we go. Look at that, eh? And turn them off. And that is as simple as it gets. So uh, we're out there now, we're fishing. One rod's hooked up. Some fresh mullet on there, and uh, now the fun begins. My gosh, that was a that was a decent cast there, Morks. Didn't even bring a surf caster, and that's out 300 odd meters. Eh? How, how, how far do we go? Uh, at the end, after the drone go, it's 384 meters. 384. So we're out there almost in the channel. We're going to keep an eye on that rod tip. Yep. Make sure that's got a bit of bend in it. Yep. Every now and then, it'll flatten out. Give it a wind. Beautiful. Now, um, why is it important to have tension on the line there, brother? So this works like a long line, so the hook slides between the stops. Yep. Two stoppers, yep. When that hook takes off, yep. when there's tension on the line, that hook trace is going to hit that stop. Yep. That's what sets the hook. Right, right. So you're not striking on the rod, you're not striking on the fish, they're yep. going to set the hook themselves. Nice. Why that's really important, why I ask that question is because if, if your line is loose, as you've set it out, if your line is not tight, then that fish is just going to be picking up your line and playing with it. And you want, so you want to make sure there's a bit of pretension on your line. And uh, I don't think it'll take too long, and we're going to see some uh, some rods nodding with the AA Easy. <laughs> hey, he, he, this hey. is why we use these just while he's giving his son a rally. <laughs> this is why we use the Finnor 10 500s. That's out three four hundred meters. 380? Almost 400 meters, yeah. Yep, almost 400 meters, and look how much line is still on that bad boy. And you thought we were trying to sell you a reel. It's the first time having a go at this. I am slightly nervous, but I think we can do this. So it's just warming up, Fano. Let me talk as if I've been doing this for a long time. It was just, it's just warming up. The calibration of the... Uh, I'm not even trying to do this. going to get me messed up. Oh, first part is done, family. First part is done. All right. Not down. Have a look. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. That was my first time. See how easy I landed that? Like a yeah. throw, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah that's even on camera. I've made them. <laughs> <laughs> made them. 
So I tripped that because I went up a little bit too, too keen there. But it's doing what it's meant to do, so that's good. Alright, alright. Let's try again. Watch your distance. Yeah. About 180, 190, should go a bit slower on this one. Yeah, let's keep it as close as they went. Go now, rope 250. More you broke, get that return go. Yep, so you hit that. It's returning. Screen says return. When you can see the drone. Yep. And now it's gradually, look at that. Oh my goodness. Watch your screen, it'll show that the drone actually goes higher. It always elevates itself to get it away from any structure that might be out there. Obviously in the ocean you're not going to have that much structure, but it works well. It goes up, it'll come back, you watch those meters reduce. When it gets close, turn off the auto return, manual land it, catch it once you're confident in your abilities, otherwise just leave it to the auto return. If, if you've got spare batteries, make your first few trips on the auto return. It's going to land on its own, it'll shut off on its own, turn the batteries off, you wait for that rod to be. Let's have a look at what this, this return to home automatically does. Just so we can see how well it does. Oh, even the birds are checking them out. Come on. I'm jealous. I wish I looked like that. Clap. Even a clap down the beach. <laughs> we got a clap <laughs> from the home, man. That's how it's done. Now, that was really easy. I've got to admit, I, I made that look easy, but it, it was all the machine. That was all the machine. And um, yeah, so we can tell exactly how far out our baits are. Um, something that was really cool, actually, once we dropped that out um, and it's returning home, he, he kind of mentioned it when he's talking, but you can actually see how far the drone is when it's coming in. So. You're not having to worry, is it coming back or anything like that? It says it's returning. Um, this drone's going to look after you. It's going to make fishing a heck of a lot easier. And if you're not like me and can cast a heck of a long distance, mate, we're using boat rods today. This is so cool. They AE easy! Check that out. There we go. So that rod just bent over and started, uh, started rattling a bit. And we're getting bites earlier on as well. Yeah, here we go. Taking it easy, eh? Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Drop them, eh? Might be worth leaving them there for a bit, eh? So the gear's out there. We've already had a, a couple of bites. And uh, how long was that out before those first bites? Not even a minute and a half. About a minute and a half. My goodness. And my shoes are still dry, fam. <laughs> my shoes, this, this is unbelievable. I my shoes, my shoes I bought Under Armour shoes today because I knew I wasn't getting wet. This is, this is unreal. This is gentleman's fishing. <laughs> That's it. it. Yep, so it could check. I was just told if something really big comes on, 
I'm gonna have to go and get it anyway, so I could be wet by the end of the day. But oh my goodness, mate, what a day. Check out that. What we're doing today, this is the worst sort of case winds you wanna be bringing it out in. And uh, I don't know if you could uh, see how easy the drone handled it. That was cool. That was really cool. All right, I can't wait to see this thing go down. Here we go, here we go, 350 meter. Let's see what the 350 meters brought in. This was the set that had a bit of challenge. Oh yeah, nice big kawai. Big kawai. Here we go. That took it with some force, man. Very cool. Show you a trick, bro. Start winding as you walk towards the water. Here we go, just wind as fast as you can, yep. Show you a trick, bro. When your arms get tired, this is the easy, this is the easy way to get some good line line gain on you. Nice and smooth. Too easy. Right. Now what you do is just walk back, holding it tight, bro. Just walk it back. Just drag it up on the beach. That's the one. Just like that. And there they are, there's our bait. Oh, a few nibbles. So, and that's the set there. So there we go. So what we've learned today is we, st we got our best set, which was a nice big carway. We got that at 450? Uh, I think we got 380, 380, so just under 400 meters is when we caught a fish. And um, so that goes to show you, so the, the other set that we had out was about 150, 160, and then this set here was at about 350. So the wind's picked up unfortunately, so we're not gonna continue to fish with the drones, but um, that goes to show you, you wanna be getting out a little bit further than we were, getting it out probably five, 600 meters here on this typical day, but that's where if you've got multiple rods, you can start getting a bit of a gauge as to what's working on the day, and uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've found out today that 500 plus meters is where the fish are most, probably gonna be most likely um, caught today, so. Yeah, it was good fun. We're basically out here to learn how to use the drones, and uh, hey, we got a fish bonus, a uh, bit of seaweed around. Um, but what a choice day! What a choice day! So now, now we've got a bit of a, a pack up to do. So look, so there's the rig. Six hooks. Six hooks there. There's our sinker line. It's a good example when the sinkers don't release. Bam. They're really hard to drag in. Yep. That's it. Those rubber bands are pretty rugged too, pretty heavy duty. These are. <laughs> Alright. So now we're just packing it down. Successful test. Successful test.
don't forget to look up our YouTube channel, Outdoor Adventures with Kays, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video.